Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPPNet's video series on design patterns and this video is a proxy design pattern. In previous video we have learned wrapper design pattern which is extending the original object's functionality by wrapping it, okay? And this is going to be a proxy design pattern. So you would have heard many times like what actually proxy means. We'll try to understand in this video. So let's start that. So let's assume you have a, what to say, object and this is your original object. So this is original object and you will try to put a layer to access it. So here is your client. Okay. This is your client. The client wants to access this object, but we want to put a layer in between. So this is your layer part. And here we will implement a proxy object, which will actually access this object and client will access this object. So this is the whole thing. We'll see like why it is needed and what role it plays. So it becomes important. So this is the whole idea. You have client, client will access the proxy and proxy will internally access the original object. And client is actually thinking that I am directly accessing the original object. So this is cool. Now let's take an example. It will be more clear. Let's consider this as a database object, DB object. Okay. And this is a proxy DB object and this is your client. I mean, this is user and we all know that, okay, client want to access the DB meaning they should give a username and a password. So they will give username U1 and password P1. We'll check this username and password in the proxy itself. We will not let it go till the actual database object because that is solely implemented for accessing the data like modifying or reading the data, but no authentication checking and all that. So that authentication check will be implemented here. And not only authentication, there are many use case of this. Like you can go for caching, you can go for logging, you can go for like throttling management, meaning one DB object can handle so and so number of applications. I mean, request only if requests are exceeding then some threshold, then you will handle that using this proxy object. So, so many things are possible with this. So enough theory, let's look at the program now. So if you look at the program here, we have a very simple program. I'm keeping two things here. First is the real database. And this is the real query, which will be there in the real database. So this is the object you are trying to create a proxy for. Okay. So this is real and this is the database proxy. So this is the proxy. And here, if you see, we have a shared pointer of the real database. And the whole idea is see from database query, you will first check, I mean, from proxy database query function, you will first check if this user is allowed or not. If that user is not allowed, then you won't allow it. If user is allowed, then only see real database. You are now querying the actual query function. So this is the proxy. You are putting one extra layer before letting it access the real database. So let's look at the driver function here. We have created this database proxy. I am telling that, okay, allowed users are these two. I mean, just for the demonstration purpose and see, we are now firing the queries here and the query will go to the proxy object first. It will come here. If user is allowed for simplicity, I'm just returning true for all the users right now, but here it will have a very big checking and all that so that you don't slip and you give the correct information. So user is allowed for me, both the queries will get executed because I'm returning true here. And once it is done, then only you will be allowed to actually file. I mean, fire the real query and the real query is this guy. So, it's just the placeholder like stuff. You are keeping it for placeholding part and having some check and all, and then only you are allowing it to go ahead and access the actual object. So this is the sole purpose of proxy object in software engineering. So I think we are done here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.